We're here uh, at the Civilian War Memorial in uh, Singapore with uh, Dr. Hamza Muzayini and uh, Daniel Schumacher. Um, I want to ask first of all about the, uh, the history of this site. So what's this memorial doing here and why was it erected I think in 1967? So it was inaugurated in 1967 and um, it was the result of a much longer process of getting recognition for the Chinese victims of uh, the Japanese occupation initially. But what we see behind us is, and if you walk around the whole memorial, you will see that uh, it does not only remember the Chinese civilian victims of the Japanese occupation, but indeed a number of ethnicities from around Singapore who suffered under the Japanese. But there is, of course, as I indicated, a longer story. Yeah. Maybe so, you know. well, I mean, just to explain, we've got these four chopsticks. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Representing the four ethnic groups, state-defined yeah. ethnic groups exactly. in Singapore. This is, this is the Civilian War Memorial. Uh, it's also called, as you can see, the Memorial to the Civilian Victims of the Japanese Occupation. But there are some locals who affectionately call it the four chopsticks. Uh, yeah. Simply because it uh, is supposed to symbolize the four races uh, in uh, Singapore uh, currently. So that's part of the whole nation building thing. But initially, it was really basically a project that was uh, mooted by um, the Singapore Cham Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Right. And right. that was because they found all these uh, um, bodies that were dug up, uh, that were victims of the Sukching. Exactly. Right. In Africa. Quite near this site. No, no, no. Exactly. Okay. Tima, uh, and uh, Changi. Yeah. Oh, at various different sites. Yeah. Right. So basically, during road construction, as Singapore mm. was expanding uh, in the 1960s, early 1960s, uh, they accidentally dug up some mm. uh, mass graves of the Sukjin massacre that had happened right after the Japanese yes. had invaded and taken Singapore. So those, those mass graves were elsewhere, but this memorial is here. Why, exactly. is, it, why is it here? This was also the result uh, of um, a certain compromise that had to be struck, um, first and foremost by the Singapore Chinese Chamber of Commerce, because initially uh, what they wanted was, of course, a memorial remembering the Chinese victims of uh, the massacres and of the Japanese occupation more generally. And um, initially it was just to be uh, exactly this. And uh, they also wanted to have it rather centrally located, but the right. government of the time in Singapore said, um, look, government well, of the you, time being the British colonial government. Um, no. Well, the government of uh, the time being uh, the self-governing government of uh, Singapore. So the British had already uh, given uh, yeah. Singapore self-government. I see. And um, so it was already part of uh, an emerging nation-building process. You might say. Yeah. So the idea was uh, they, so the Singapore Chinese Chamber of Commerce and all the mm. other campaigners had to make a compromise. If they wanted to have their memorial right here in the city centre, it would have to be for uh, all ethnicities in Singapore who suffered under the Japanese occupation. Otherwise, they also proposed uh, to give them another site in Jurong East, which is of course completely far away from uh, yeah, anything we, So you say right here in the city centre, how central is this? This is very central, this is like the heart of uh, the city. I mean, if you basically just walk a little bit down there and you will see the City Hall, Supreme Court, Parliament House. Uh, so this is really the heart of the British Empire in Singapore at that point of time. And even after that, it still remains as a, as a very central uh, place in Singapore for the government.